Hi, this is Zach Log the Great. I had one of those moments not long ago, I'm sure you've had them, when facts and ideas you've known for quite some time suddenly arrange themselves in a new fashion and you get a burst of insight. So, let me walk you through what I realized. Single mothers in America tend to vote for de heavily for Democrats. We could go into the reasons, but it's beside my point right now. And, anyway, it's not too hard to figure out if you think just a little bit. Happily married women, on the other hand, tend to vote for Republicans, even more than single women with no children. Now, how might this affect my decisions as a man? Well, depending on my own political inclinations, it might just influence how I relate to women. Oh, let's make this personal. I'm a conservative. I want conservative politicians elected and conservative policies enacted. If I consider how this affects my romantic life, I discover an interesting incentive. My romantic choices can influence others' political choices. In particular, as a conservative, I want to find one good woman, marry her, and make her as happy as is within my power. Why? Because that woman is going to become more politically conservative. Statistically, that woman will be more likely to support policies I prefer without me even saying a word to her about them. It's clear. If you're a man and a conservative, uh, find a good woman, marry her, and build her the best life you can. Now, if I were more to the left, I might examine the facts and arrive at a different conclusion. I might see that as a man of the left, I have different political incentives affecting my romantic choices. You see, as a leftist, I would not want a happily married woman who's going to vote Republican. What would I want that was within my power to affect? Single mothers. Lots of them. If you are a leftist man, it would align directly with your political interests to date lots of women, knock them up, and take no responsibility whatsoever. As soon as you see that positive pregnancy test, you vanish, boyo. That kid is her problem. There's plenty of other pretty girls out there. Uh, you can find another one without all that baggage. And, bonus, every single time you do this, you solidify another vote for those leftist big government policies you love so much. So, which side cares about women? Which side respects women? Is it the side that incentivizes men to love and cherish one woman and provide a stable home for her and their children? Or is it the side that incentivizes its men to behave towards women like irresponsible scumbags?